method. Now we'll see how to create the supplier in Oracle applications. Supplier is defined at three levels. Supplier, supplier uh, site and supplier contacts. If we want to create a supplier, we have to go to the responsibility called purchasing responsibility. Select purchasing or payables. We can create supplier either in purchasing, vision operations, USA or we can create in payables, vision operations, USA. We can do it any of the responsibility. Select purchasing. This is PO module, purchasing module. This all are purchasing module forms. This. Then we will find purchasing module reports and programs here. We will find the purchasing module reports and programs. This all are purchasing module reports and programs in SRS window. Right now our task is we want to create a supplier go to the menu called uh, supply base this menu supply base this all forms are used to maintain the suppliers database creating the suppliers merging the suppliers creating the supplier list approved supplier list summary approved supplier list supplier status creating the rules for the supplier and assign the rules to supplier this this all forms are to maintain the supplier data supplier data model now we want to create a supplier select uh, suppliers this is oaf uh, page this this will find oaf page this now we want to create a supplier select this button create supplier enter supplier name organization name is nothing but a supplier name I'm going to give ABC corporation private limited select apply button Now supplier has created uh, successfully. We will find the supplier data in this table. AP underscore suppliers where vendor name nothing but a supplier ABC corporation Supplier name is this. Supplier number is 10. Here we will find the supplier name and the supplier number. 
supplier number stores in the column called segment 1 and primary key is vendor id vendor id vendor id equal to 3516 this vendor id is automatic generated sequence name dot next value this is supplier number and the supplier name now we will create a supplier uh, sites there is a option here address book address book is nothing but a supplier uh, sites address book is nothing but a supplier site select address book create select address book create enter uh, supplier site address let's say this supplier is doing the business in india country is india address sr nagar hyderabad city country state postal code just information that's all sr nagar language and uh, phone number area code phone number area code fax this site uh, what purpose the supplier is using he will be using for purchasing as well as for the payment also rfq will discuss later select continue so what we have done we have defined one site for the supplier please enter a valid email address email address is required this site we are assigning for which, which organization only for vision operations we want to use we don't want to use for other organizations select apply if we want to change the site name we can change Now the site is successfully created. If we want to modify the site details, we will go for update. In future, any modifications are required, we will go for update option. When we create a supplier site, we will find this table, complete site information. AP, supplier, sites all, where, vendor id equal to 35169 now this supplier has got one site called sr nagar this supplier has got one site called sr nagar now we'll create one more uh, site again create button Let's say this supplier is having another site in India. Electronic City Road, Bangalore. Continue. 
for select vision operations we have defined two sites for the same supply like this whatever sites uh, are there for supplier will be creating now we'll find two sites for this supplier in the table also if we query based on vendor id we'll find corresponding site so vendor id is the link between suppliers and supplier sites this is master table this is detail table then how to join these two tables by using this column vendor id vendor id is a primary key here and uh, here it is a foreign key reference column here again every site we will have the id vendor site id so site id is the primary key here vendor site id is the primary key now we have defined supplier and sites and now we are defining the contacts if we want to purchase the goods from this supplier to whom we have to contact contact directory select contact directory contact information just contact employee name phone number email address their status their position general information we will enter in the contacts like this will create the contacts information supplier contact direct again one more contact we can create by using this part when we create the contacts that information will find in this table ap supplier contacts ap supplier contacts and primary key here is vendor contact id so these are three tables related for supplier suppliers supplier sites and supplier contacts then what are primary keys here vendor id vendor site id and vendor contact this will find. 